Tonight, police in West Suburban North Lake are asking for your help. They're looking for a hit and run driver who they say blew through a stop sign, hitting two children riding their bikes last night. This happened around 820 at Lindale and Roy in North Lake. NBC 5's Randy Gyllenhaal spoke with neighbors who tried to help. Well, here in North Lake, riding bicycles is a beloved part of summer. These two boys were on a quiet street, Roy Avenue, directly across from a school when police say a driver blew this stop sign. You can actually still see the crime scene tape. The entire crash caught on surveillance video. You can see the boys here side by side on their bicycles just before 8.30 last night. Then a white sedan speeds into the intersection. The horrifying sound of impact. The driver revving the engine as the car speeds away. The hit and run left those boys lying in the street. One bike was tore up on this side, the other one was there. I'm like, oh my God. Neighbors like Juan Payan say the two boys would often bike here. They live nearby. We're just praying for the, the little boy that's in critical because, I mean, I was, if you saw that bike yesterday, it was ouch. The bike was almost in half. It's just down there. Danny Escamilla lives on the corner. He says the whole neighborhood rushed out to help both boys, teenagers around 15. One of the boys actually, uh, what I was told was he opened the side of his head and the one that actually got hit uh, like really bad uh, broke his leg. And he says drivers on this stretch routinely ignore stop signs and speed limits. I think it was just a disaster yesterday. It shouldn't have happened. Police are now searching for that white sedan, possibly an older Toyota Camry or Lexus with chrome rims, tinted windows and a sunroof. Neighbors distraught and worried about their safety on the road. North Lake police say the two boys both remain hospitalized at Loyola. Meantime, anybody who recognizes that vehicle asked to call police. We're in North Lake, Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC5 News.